I'm going to review. It's, it's an interesting paper because it looks at what triggering with 1,500 of HCG along with the bolus of FSH and is it comparable to giving 5,000 of HCG in an IVF cycle? And it's quite an interesting case. Now, there have been many studies done which looked at at what HCG level were you more likely to get eggs and they looked at 2,000, 5,000 and 10,000 and there's clear evidence that at 2,000 your chances of getting eggs on your own was much lower and in fact the lo lowest incidence seemed to occur with 2,000 and, uh, and 2,500 and it seems that between 3,300 5, and 5,000 the optimum uh, level of HCG had to be given. Now, uh, before we go, go up to this paper, what happens in nature? In nature, you see the peak of LH is also accompanied by a small increase of FSH. And we think that that FSH is needed to <clears throat> allow better fertilization and better egg maturity. Though it does not seem to happen in all cases, in some women, giving that additional FSH seems to have make an impact. And that has been seen mainly in dual triggers which have been given. So what does this study look at? This study looked at in an, uh, giving in an antagonist or a long protocol, giving uh, 1,500 of HCG along with 450 of FSH as a dual trigger, as, as, as a bo uh, bolus. Now, they on, uh, also were looking at giving they gave 10,000 of HCG uh, was uh, given and in the control group and they're also looking at blood samples of HCG done on day zero trigger plus day one and at oocyte retrieval and one of the things which was seen was that the total number of oocytes retrieved was statistically less compared to that of a normal trigger and the probability of an M2 and an O site retrieved was 0 0.75 with and uh, with the alternative trigger and 0 0.77 with the normal trigger. So the chances of getting a metaphase 2 were very similar. The live birth rate was very much the same between both the groups and thus it shows that there was not a quality decline. Now, if you looked at the HCG level, the HCG level was lower in some cases of using the alternative trigger of 1500 of HCG. Uh, and it seems that if the HCG level, serum HCG level was more than 40 international units per litre, then the pregnancy rates and getting the eggs were very much similar. So to a large extent, even if you get 1500, what the studies seem to say is, if you reach a certain am amount of uh, HCG in blood, you're, you're more likely to get uh, eggs. Now, why is this to a certain extent important? It's important study is because you can use this protocol in the long protocol and you can use it also in the antagonist protocol. Also, unlike the GNRH analog protocol where you're more likely to freeze embryos here you can go ahead go ahead and implant uh, uh, the embryos now this also uh, saves the corpus luteum from early luteinization that happens in a GnRH analog cycle so while in probably in some cases you are going to see a lower number of eggs this is a protocol that may be used in a long protocol where you wanted to reduce your risk of overstimulation by using a slightly lower dose of HCG along with an FSH trigger. So it's quite a good concept and something which as time goes 